two goals in four appearances is Blake's record for United and only in the last match against Queen's Park Rangers when he scored the equaliser has he been in the side from the kickoff. The other number 30, Paul Walsh, hasn't scored for eight matches since Portsmouth's Coca-Cola Cup match at Old Trafford. But he probably still can't quite believe that he didn't mark his debut last week by making a goal for Uwe Rosler. But the German completely missed his header. Both the Germans on loan are in the starting lineup this afternoon. Rösler from Dynamo Dresden, Stefan Karl from Borussia Dortmund. And David Brightwell is in at left back, allowing Terry Phelan to move into midfield. Glyn Hodges and Roger Nielsen both failed fitness tests, so are out of United's side. But Dane Whitehouse returns after suspension to play in a team captain as usual by Brian Gale who was a member of the Manchester City side, which won promotion back to the top division in season 89-90. Doesn't take much to uh, make Alan Gunn, our referee, smile. Pity is that he's in his last season. And that's his decision. Blake was the first touch. Brightwell and Phelan immediately showing the opposition where they're going to play. Walsh, it would have been a major surprise to uh, Dave Bassett, which has been suffering from a lot of rain. And Coton deciding that it was better if the defender cleared it. Car takes the throw, back to Paul Beasley playing at left back and the flag is up for offside against Franz Kart and the referee wants words with uh, Paul Beasley for delaying the game, really. Free kick had been given. And Mr. Smiler becomes Mr. Stern. Walsh. That's well clear by Gale. And that was not the most pleasant of challenges by Andy Hill. A lot at stake in this match. And the referee might have to be pretty stern in the opening stages in particular. Let's look at the challenge. Well, it has to be said that his opponent was looking for it as well. McMahon, Walsh. The challenge by Roe Castle. And the free kick is given to City. Looking sharp, David Roe Castle. He's done well since he came here in a side that's been struggling to find form. Swapped with David White. White going to Leeds just before the turn of the year. Carl might fancy having a go from here. That's a good strike. Alan Kelly down to it. But he must have been hugely relieved that the ball flew over the top. Just flung himself at the ball where it went from that point onwards was pure fortune Carl again loses to Rogers a lively start to an important fixture and Manchester City playing with a, a good deal more confidence than one might have anticipated a few days in Jersey have obviously done them a bit of good well, the Channel Islands is doing well for uh, English football at the moment. And two in the England side. Carl again. Well, he's getting a few sighters in. Out by Whitehouse. Blake. Early ball, good one. It wasn't a bad knockback either. A little unlucky. French car. Tuttle, Beasley, Blow, 
Pogma. Well, they say uh, goalkeepers earn their luck. Alan Kelly hadn't actually done anything before that to earn his, but uh, he's had a slice at the beginning. Obviously didn't see it terribly well, just flung himself at the ball and it squirmed pretty sharply off his body and over the top. Vonk. Well, it was clearly intended to nod it down to Tony Coton. And there was a total lack of awareness that uh, Whitehouse was behind him. Car. Good shimmy. And nice play. Header was from Flo. But it was a nicely clipped cross by Carr. Caught underneath it a bit too much, and that's why it cleared the crossbar. Pass it now down on the bench, a bit nearer to the half time dressing room. Half time approaches. One by Gale. Cleared by Flo. Hard to chase. Whitehouse does too. It's still loose there. Oh, great credit to Dane Whitehouse. Took on two and, as the saying goes, Showed a clean pair of heels, and then it stuck. Two going for it, and Coton grabbing it. Here's Phelan. Good play, Phelan. And shot with the outside of the left boot. Kenny couldn't hold on to. Feeling again. Challenged by Paul Walsh. Feeling still feeling that knock. Didn't really see enough of the ball in the first period. Brilliant stop. And I would have thought that he took that full in the face. Really brave goalkeeping by Alan Kelly. Because it bounced off Gale. Who hadn't really had a clear view of it. And Kelly, look at the speed with which he pounced. And he caught Paul Walsh's foot. I don't think any of the Sheffield United management team will know they have a very brave goalkeeper. Well done, Kelly. That's onside, Blake. Real chance. Not taken. But the goalkeeper narrowed the angle. And block coming feet first. Blocked it well, he got his angle absolutely right. His feet were nearer the player, but he got his body across well. Car. Kernigan's headed clearance needed the extra touch. And Phelan on the run again, matched by a player of similar physique and pace. Search for three points continues for both sides. Francis Lee leans further forward, nine points out of a possible 21 since he became the chairman. Rowcastle. 
Walsh and Tuttle. Oh! Side netting. He was pretty quickly across, was Kelly. But Walsh certainly thought it was worth the try. Thought Tuttle looked as though he got him. Well, if he'd have got it inside the post, it would have been a very close run thing. Good shoulder by Griffiths. Spaces left side. Still left side. Feeling. Tight. Is it cleanly enough? But from Manchester's point of view, Manchester City's point of view, just the wrong side of the post. The moment of hesitation in that move by Stefan Karl, which in the end proved to be costly because it forced the final shot to come from a slightly too wide position. Blake, beautifully away. Whitehouse misses the chance. One goes away at one end and one goes away at the other, but the pace of turning away by Blake. And I suppose he would feel that this time the away point wouldn't be so dusty. Both sides have had their chances. Kernahan. I'll see him by Gage. Low. Chase for Blake. This is a real chance. Up comes Carr. And amazingly, Coton gets back to make the catch. Blake remains down hurt. And the referee stops the match for Blake to get attention. Well, Blake made the charge down the middle and the protests from Sheffield United players can only be, was this a foul? Well, it was outside, but the referee has to decide, A, was it a foul, and B, was it a scoring opportunity? Coton coming sprinting out, he was outside his area as he made the challenge, and what sort of challenge was it? He's very lucky, Tony Coton. Rocaster beats the referee, and then Flo. And the referee decides that is enough, and both sides have to settle for one point. One brilliant, brave save by this man, Alan Kelly. Denying perhaps the closest to a goal. He made a save early on too about which I don't think he knew very much But for all the efforts of the senior citizen And all the efforts of everyone on the pitch they could not between them find a winning goal Both sides had spells when they felt they were on top both sides had spells when everything seemed to be going wrong one point a piece is the final outcome.